This is a Predator Igniter Kit. And these Predator Igniter Kits are sold carrying three individual packs. And each one of these packs contain five individual clips. And each one of these clips can be attached to one firework unit. So, by simple math, since there are three of these, you can light 15 fireworks with one kit. Okay, so let's show you how you uh, go ahead and hook this up to the fireworks units. The first thing you do is you take this out. When you pull all the packaging out, you'll end up with this. Now the question with this is, can I go ahead and fire individual units, or do I have to fire all five together? And that's completely up to you. I'm going to go demonstrate a simple single ignition with these units. All you do is, there's a little black plastic uh, bridge here that connects all five together. You just snap that off, and then you pull the individual strip off. All the way down. And these are good for later, so you just put these in a safe location. In the end, there's two wires. And basically what happens is, these two wires go up into this plastic housing, and there's a thin nichrome wire. One end of this yellow shooting wire attaches to one end, and the other end attaches to the other side. When an electric current goes through, it passes through that nichrome wire, the resistance is there, it glows white hot, ignites the visco fuse, which then ignites the fireworks piece. And to prepare the end, all you do is you separate these two yellow wires. This will end here. Get a nice little copper strip there. A little copper end there. You got two nice little copper wires here. And before you hook this up into the, uh, the ignition unit, you'd attach this to the fireworks that you're going to set off. Cut. Okay, we are in a safe location now, and we can test this out and demonstrate it to you. You can see I've got that one unit that I pulled off the strip. And of course the other end of the uh, ignition unit has been stripped. You can see two nice little copper pieces there. This is a standard green visco that you'd find attached to any fireworks piece. A uh, longer piece obviously would be attached to a mortar and a size maybe a little bit longer than this would be hooked up into a 500 gram, 200 gram cake, whatever you have. All you do with this is there's a little channel in here. All you're going to do is place this visco fuse inside here, make sure it seats nicely and you're going to pinch it shut. At this point this visco fuse is in there. And of course, assume that this other end is attached to the firework. So when you set off the, uh, the electrical current, whatever box, the current is going to heat this thing up. And wherever this is put on the fuse is where the ignition start point is going to be. So of course, the, uh, the fuse will burn in this direction and this direction. The other end now would be attached to your electric box. You make sure that the box is off and that there's no chance of this accidentally being lit. Uh, you're making sure that you uh, are never um, in any danger of uh, leaning over the fireworks unit. And safety is always your top priority. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this into uh, firing line A. quick test. The green light came on indicating that we have a complete circuit through this. That's also indicating that the nichrome bridge wire is still good. At this point we're going to step back into a safe location and we're going to test fire this for you. Okay, for purposes of demonstration we're a lot closer than you'd be in uh, an actual firing site. I mean ideally you'd be at least a hundred feet away or further preferably but because you can't really see this fuse from this distance the pliers 
are holding down the end of the wire which is hooked into that visco fuse. And we'll go ahead and fire this visco fuse in three, two, one, firing. And as you can see, it's an instantaneous light. There's no delay whatsoever. Okay, this is uh, the end result of uh, firing off that unit. This is fused up. It's completely welded shut. Uh, you would have 15 of these per one pack, one kit. And each one of these would be hooked up to one fireworks unit. So you got a heck of a show with just one kit. They're very simple to use, probably one of the simplest out there, and extremely versatile.